Salam alaikum. So today is the 30th of October and it's a Friday, which means here in Morocco, Fridays are couscous days. It's a sacred day here. So we're here with Khoya Aziz, Aziz Mama, oh, <laughs> and Mr. Jin Wow. Salam alaikum. And, and Mama's got, kindly said she wants to teach us and show us how to make traditional Moroccan style couscous. First off, she peels the vegetables and gets everything ready. So yeah, being vegan, we, we quite enjoy all our vegetables. So here we have pumpkin, romero, cauliflower, tomato. In Morocco, they peel their tomatoes, quite interesting. Uh, they take out the middles of the carrots as well. That's a Moroccan thing and peel them. And uh, red pepper, green pepper, onions, everything. And now all our, all our vegetables are pretty much ready to go. And they're gonna steam them and get them ready for the couscous. So in Moroccan couscous, they use many vegetables and you gotta be able to juggle them. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna go into the kitchen. What's going on in here? Mama! Oh, Mama making couscous. Yeah. Jinwao is filming for Jinwao on YouTube. Oh, Jinwao viewers, what's the crack lads? How are we? That's up, So, step one, she adds a bit of oil and she mixes it in with her hands. Now, she adds a little bit of water, still keeps mixing with her hands. Mix, mix, mix. So the rubbing of the uh, ends and couscous is to, I think, to make it separate and fluffy couscous. Ah. Then she puts the couscous into a colander or a steaming pot and covers the top with a bit of plastic, just enough to let it, a bit of steam into the couscous and that's going to start to cook the couscous. The oil and the couscous get cooked together. And the pro tip is to use a plastic from the bag, put it over, pierce a hole in the plastic and it's going to let a nice bit of steam on. Sees his mouth starts to water as he sees the Welcome in the house. <laughs> and now we wait. Ah, now mum is making the vegan version. Just for me. Good deal. For all of us. Inshallah. I'm not cherry. <laughs> so, all the vegetable scraps and peelings are going in the big bag. I'm going to be fed to Jin Wao's donkey. Kinta. Yeah. So now after 10 minutes of steaming, they take it out, mix it with oil again, mix it all around and put it back for a second round of steaming. How many rounds of steaming in total? I think about 2-3, no? 2 or 3 rounds of steaming, yeah. Just the second round. You can see in my first video, my introduction video, that uh, I go and I meet my friend... What's her name? I'm sorry, I forgot your name. It'll come to me. 3, 2, 1... Ophelie, Ophelie, sorry. Uh, <laughs> 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 Ophelie. So, yeah, in my first video, I go into my friend Lauren Bartosh's van and I see Ophelie and she's making couscous. That's what she used to do every Friday for all of us. And yeah, she would say, uh, you take it out, you put it back in, you take it out, you put it back in. And this is what she meant. You put it on the steam, you take it out, mix it with the stuff. She called it, let's call it oil. And, and steam it again, and again, and again, and again. And then she puts the plastic back on the pot. There's a little bit bigger. And now for the second round. Second round. Go. Here we go. Super Mama. 
Daniel's couscous. She made a vegetarian one just for me. Well, I'm not gonna eat all of that. Shukran, mama. So, dinner is served. Happy Friday. Bismillah. Shukran, bizif. Shukran, Shukran, Bismillah. So, before, uh, before people eat in Morocco and a lot of Arabic countries, uh, Islamic countries, they say Bismillah. Means, thank you, Allah. Thank you, in the name. In the name, of Allah. in the name of Allah, we shall eat. As always, thank you very much for watching my video and I really hope you enjoyed. Um, if you want to follow this video a little bit better, head on over to my Instagram, Dan Van No Plan. Um, I've got the recipe step by step on how to make the vegan Moroccan couscous there. And also, if you want to be able to support me, uh, subscribe, share, like, whatever, it would help, my, help out my channel big time and help me produce better content. And also, um, if you want to make this dish and you can't get the correct um, spices, go on over to my Patreon. My Patreons get sent a bunch of Moroccan spices once a month and it works out cheaper than buying your spices in the local supermarket. And not only does it support me, but it supports uh, towns and communities that I visit in my van, uh, so it supports them too. So anyway, hope you enjoy. Till next time, peace and love. Take care of yourselves, be safe, be sound, be cheerful. Goodbye.